University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Good evening and welcome to University Challenge. Today we are joined by the top two boxing universities in the country. We have with us the University of Matrum and the University of Queensbury. Representing Queensbury we have Frank Warren, Tyson Fury, John Fury and Bob Arum. And representing Matrum we have Eddie Hearn, Anthony Joshua, Ben Davidson and Carla Salen, who's quite excited to be here. Now then, let's get straight into it. Fingers on the buzzers, here is the first question. Who goes by the alias of the greatest and is actually considered by many as the greatest of all time? <coughs> yes, Ben Davidson. Uh, me? No, it's not you, you dopey twat. The answer is Muhammad Ali. Next question, who coined the phrase, pay-per-view is dead? <coughs> Yes, Eddie Hearn. Yeah, that was me. Yes, that's correct. Bonus points for telling me who banged on about that for ages, but now DAZN have also gone pay-per-view, it's actually turned out to be complete bollocks. Uh, yeah, that was me as well. Yes, that's correct. 20 points match them. Just out of interest, Edward, how have the fans reacted to that? Uh, yeah, it's gone down like a bag of shit. Righto, next question, fingers on buzzers. Name a boxing promoter still in the game who's old enough to be a fucking fossil. Yes, Frank Warren. I'm gonna go with Bob Arum. Yes, that is correct. What? Put your hearing aid in, Bob. Ten points, Queensbury. Next question. Name one of the films in which Charlie Chaplin took part in a boxing match. <coughs> yes, Carlos Ireland. Yes. Uh, well, you pressed the buzzer. Did you want to answer the question? Uh, no, sorry. I just heard someone say Charlie. Yes, I bet you did. Anyway, the answer is City Lights or the Champion. Fingers on buzzers. Next question. How many punches did Anthony Joshua throw in the Alexander Usyk fight? <coughs> Yes, Anthony. Um, I threw loads. Stay humble, yeah? No, that's incorrect. The answer is fuck all. Brilliant, AJ. Yes, quiet and down in the audience, please. Next question. John Fury considers himself to be one of the hardest men in the world, but in reality, is he actually a bit of a wimp? You what? Do you want to find out? Nope, fair enough. Let's not go there. 700 points of Queensbury on that one. Well done, John. Moving on. Next question. Tyson Fury says he has now retired from boxing. Is this true or false? Tyson Fury. Yes, it is true. Well, unfortunately, if you're saying it's true, then it's probably complete and utter shite. So incorrect. Next question. A non-boxing related question now. Which popular American television show first aired in 1998 and featured the presenter Drew Carey? <coughs> yes, Mr. Sarland. Uh, who's got a line? Um, yes, I will accept that answer. The answer I have written down is whose line is it anyway? What? No, sorry. I was just asking if anyone's got a line. Right then. Well done, teams. Now we have arrived at the final question. 20 points up for grab. Perhaps fingers on buzzers. Who is considered the biggest knobhead in boxing? Yes, Tyson Fury. Jake Paul? Yes, that's correct. For bonus points though, he claims he will win a world title. Can you tell me what is the likelihood of that? Um, about as likely as me growing a mullet. Yes, fucking spot on. 20 points of Queensbury. Oh dear, we've seemed to have run out of time. Frank's team wins by about a thousand points. Bad luck, Matram, but you can go home with your heads held high. It's good night from the teams and it's good night from me. What? Oh, just give it a rest, Bob. Thanks for watching. Good night. Good <laughs> night.